Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's so good to be back in this kitchen after being away for so long. If you missed all of my French vlogs and you wanna get caught up, I will leave you the link in the description. All right, so back at home means back to school. And if you are looking for a quick and easy recipe to get your kids back to school, I've got a great one for you. It's for some easy codfish tacos. I love this recipe because it's easy to customize if you have picky pellets at home. It also comes together so quick and is packed with healthy nutrients. Let me show you how to make it. So I have three quarters of a pound of codfish. Now you really could use any fish you like, but I like cod because it doesn't dry out, it's really moist inside and it cooks quickly. So we are just gonna make this real easy and season with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And I have cut my fillets in two because I find it's easier to cook that way. So if you get a big piece of fish, just cut it in two or three pieces. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of dried oregano. Now I don't put too much seasoning on the fish because I save that for the sauce that we're gonna do. So if you have a picky palate at home and they're not gonna like a lot of seasoning on the fish, that's why I do it this way. And then I add all the flavor and seasoning in the sauce because they can always leave that out. All right, then you wanna heat a nonstick pan over a medium high flame. I like to use a little bit of this pure avocado oil. Um, you could also use coconut oil. And then you really want the pan to be very, very hot because we want our fish to get a very nice sear on it. Normally I would like to grill these tacos, but this time of year, there's no time for the grill. I'm just gonna put it in the pan. So mixing a high smoke point oil with a very hot pan is gonna get you that really wonderful sear on top of your fish. Okay, so now I'm gonna gently place this fish in the pan, seasoning side down. We're just gonna let it sit like that until it gets a nice sear. The searing part does not take long, you can kind of tell when it's ready just by peeking a little bit. If it's sticking and it doesn't want to move, then it needs a little bit more time. So then just go ahead and flip it with some tongs. See, and then you have that beautiful sear on it. Now here comes the easy part. We are going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about seven to eight minutes, just until the fish cooks through. And then in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. Now, before you start off on this dinner, I would recommend having all of your ingredients for everything out and ready to go, because that way, when the fish is in the oven, you only really have seven to eight minutes to whip up the sauce and whip up the tortillas. I do this recipe a lot, so I've got it down to a science, but if you're making it for the first time and you feel like you're running out of time, just turn the oven off. It'll stop the fish from cooking, but still keep it warm. The good thing about cod is that you can't really overcook it the way you can salmon or even halibut. It won't dry out that much. It'll start to sort of flake and come apart. That's how you know it's like really getting well done. <laughs> but it'll still be moist and tender inside. Okay, so for our sauce, I'm gonna use a cup of this crema mexicana. Now you could also use sour cream. I kind of like this because it's a little bit sweeter than sour cream and it's a little bit more runny, which I think works well for a sauce that you wanna drizzle over tacos. Now I will leave you a recipe for the sauce, but truth be told, a lot of it is really to taste because you might like a little bit more heat and add a little bit more hot sauce. You might like more lime. None of it's really gonna hurt it. So you could just keep adding these ingredients until you get it the way you like it. I'll just give you a starting point. All right, I'm gonna do the full lime because I do like it pretty limey, um, but you could do a half, see how you like it. And then if you wanna add more, add more. I'm gonna add one clove of minced garlic. If you're in a hurry and you don't have time to mess with all of this, you could just use some garlic powder. That would be fine. I just wouldn't use garlic salt because that will make it pretty salty. Then we're gonna add a teaspoon of ground cumin. I love the cumin because it gives you that really wonderful smoky earthy taste, which I think is really great. And then your favorite hot sauce. I like sriracha because in addition to the heat, it also gives you a wonderful tomatoey flavor. So I like to use a full teaspoon. There we go. And then you can just stir that up. I'm not gonna add any cilantro to the sauce because again, when you have little ones, you don't like cilantro a lot of the time. So I put that on top of my tacos, which is easy to leave out if they don't like it. Funny enough, nobody seems to mind the sriracha uh, because with this much crema, it's not that hot. So it's really just more flavorful. Then at this point, I do like to taste it. Mmm, oh, it's so flavorful, that is delicious. I would maybe just add a little salt and pepper. I've got my family trained on the sriracha, so they really don't push back on it, except for the little one, she does. So you might wanna start with a half a teaspoon and see if that's too spicy for you and your family. If not, then do the full teaspoon. Okay, sauce is ready to go. Now for the tortillas. 
Now, when it comes to corn tortillas, you want a sturdy corn tortilla because we have a lot of filling that's going in with these tacos. So I would say get the organic corn tortillas because I find that they're just a little bit hardier. They're not as thin or any kind of corn tortilla that just looks a little bit more artisan. Then this is the food stylist move that is actually really delicious too. You know, you've seen those things on Pinterest where the corn tortillas look all charred and beautiful. Now the easy way to do that is just on your gas cooktop. If you don't have a gas cooktop and you're working with electric, you can just put them on a grill pan. You just really want to heat them and sometimes the grill pan will get it a little bit charred too. So the first thing you want to do is get your cooktop on high. If you have different burners that have different strengths, pick the burner that gets the hottest. Then you are just going to place your corn tortilla on top of your cooktop like that. This isn't something you want to walk away from, so definitely watch it. And if you feel like the flame is too high, if it starts to smoke and really char, you may want to turn it down, but it just takes a few minutes. And it does two things. It heats the tortilla, and then it also adds this really wonderful sort of charred effect, which not only is tasty, but it looks beautiful too. And your family will think you're very professional. There, see, isn't that pretty? It just has this nice like little charred effect. And I also find it softens these tortillas because these organic ones, they're a lot heavier because they're a little bit more dense. So it just softens them up a little bit. There, see, it only takes but a moment. And really that's all you need to do. I do make the sauce first and then do the tortillas. That way the tortillas are warm. So if the tortillas are warm and the fish is room temperature, no one will care. It's all about the tortillas. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. We are ready to build our fish tacos. So what you're gonna do is take one of your tortillas, then go and buy some of that pre-cut cabbage. There is no need to cut it yourself for a weeknight meal. You're gonna make this real easy. And the cabbage is very uniformly cut. That's another reason why I like it. So we are just going to just kind of like move them up like this, see? Like side to side, and that will allow you to get more on this little platter. There we go. And it's such a pretty color, this cabbage. If your kids don't like cabbage, it can be a little rough. You could also use just shredded iceberg lettuce. I just think you want some kind of freshness at the bottom there. I think that this recipe feeds a family of four, especially if it's two adults and two kids, but you could always double it if you had more people to feed. All right, there we go. Okay, then we are going to take two forks and just cut our fish. You're just sort of wanting to pull it apart just so that you get nice big chunks. And I actually don't put that much fish in it because I have so many other things going on here. You'll see in a minute. I think like four good sized chunks is a good amount. Then on top of the fish, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of the sauce. If the sauce has thickened while you've done some of the other things, you can add a little bit of water to it, a little bit of warm water just to thin it out. That will also help bring the spice down a bit <laughs> if you added too much. So that's another tip for you. I like to spread it with a fork because I think you get a better drizzle that way than if a spoon. It tends to glob on too much if you do it with a spoon. It just looks a little prettier too and distributes the cream across the fish. Then I like to add a little bit of cilantro for those who like it. You can leave it out for those who don't. Cilantro is one of those things, it's like mushrooms. And for as long as I've been doing this channel, I can tell you what the triggers are. <laughs> it's either cilantro, mushrooms, or raisins. There are haters of all those camps and they're like three of my favorite things. <laughs> Go figure. And then I also like to add a little bit of diced avocado. So just split your avocado, do a nice little crosshatch pattern with the knife, and then you'll have nice chunks. But see how these tacos get filled up pretty quickly? That's why I kind of go easy on the fish. I don't really overload it because then you wouldn't have room for all this other deliciousness going on here. This is also another really great way to get your kids to eat fish, especially if you're trying to get them to eat it at least once a week the tacos because they look so pretty. And I don't know, I feel like kids really go for the tacos. They seem to think they're fun. Food should be fun, right? Then for the finishing touch, I like to add a little bit of sliced lime on the side. And there you have it, dinner is ready. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think and I'll see you back here next week. Until then, bye.